As you probably know, this channel is mostly about TSP32 boards with built-in display. Over the last couple of years I created many projects including clocks, weather stations, Fifi related projects, Bluetooth related projects, music projects, MP3 players, games, tutorials and more. And almost every time I shared my code on GitHub, where I now have 182 repositories. I'm sorry and I owe you an apology because I don't have time to respond to all comments or solve all the issues my viewers encounter, there are just too many projects and videos. That's why I decided to make this video and I hope it will be helpful to many, as the problems are often the same in many cases. Some of these projects are quite old and libraries and board definitions are constantly being updated, but I will still share some tips and tricks with you and show you how to solve the most common problems, which are black screen after code is uploaded, LED setup was not declared, my sketch is too big, I don't know which board needs to be selected, my board is dead, code can't be uploaded to the board, problems related to board definitions, libraries, serial monitor don't work, and some specific errors related to different board. Before I start I will invite you to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Ok, let's start. So, most common <laughs> problem is black screen after code is uploaded. So, you found some my example, some code and you successfully uploaded it to board without errors. But screen is still black. How to solve this? Problem is that you, you probably already had a library which is needed for that specific display. For example, if we have T-Display S3 long, this display needs TFT SPI library. There are few libraries that are used for, for um, driving these displays. TFT SPI, LVGL, Lovian library, GFX library, I always, when I got new board, I first visit GitHub repository of that board. And here I have instructions how to install board. This is very important. What settings to choose in Arduino ID, ID before uploading the board, you need to set some settings here. And what is also important in lib folder, there are those libraries. Sorry, T-Display along don't use TFT SPI library, you can use Arduino GFX library or LVGL. You'll be safest if you, maybe you all already have this library, but Please, you can download whole repository and copy these libraries in your libraries folder. Sometimes you will have two or three folder with same library. If here is some different folder which is same library but different name, IDE will maybe choose wrong library and screen will be black and code will be successfully uploaded. So, I usually delete all same libraries and I copy these fresh ones. Yes, that can be very boring and painful to delete and copy libraries every time you use new board, but I'm sorry, there is too many boards and too many uh, different versions of libraries and uh, some manufacturers like Leligo or Maker Fabs or they're even uh, edit their library. So you can't use original Arduino GFX, you will need to use this one. Next problem is with these functions. L LED C setup function is not declared. This 
part of code is usually used to change brightness of the screen. So this is usually used to, uh, to set pulse width modulation signal on, on some pin and that way we will change brightness of the screen. In some cases some people will have errors here. Why? Because they have practically, uh, they basically have new board definition. When you install your ESP32 boards, you can see that newest version is 3.1.0. When uh, this example was created, version was, I don't know, maybe 2.0.11. Uh, 2 and these functions in newest versions don't exist. So, solution is even you can downgrade to your ESP32. I mostly use 2.0 I don't use this 3.0 because I've found many features don't work in these new versions but you can still use them but you will need to avoid those functions and you can replace them with analog right here you will put pin of pin of black line and here you will put a uh, 8 bit value so if you want max brightness it will be 255 if you want zero brightness will be zero and something in between i usually use values from 40 up to 100 180 everything about this is too bright next problem is my sketch is too big if you came from um, arduino boards you never use these settings probably and sometimes if i use too many animations or images sketches are um, very big so you need to set here flash size to 16 or to maximum flash size of that board and partition sham needs to match flash size on the board page you can find flash size some boards have default 4 megabytes flash size some have 8 and this one is 16 megabytes next problem is i don't know which board needs to be selected again please go to repository of that board. I'm using Lily Go repository, but it is practically same. You will find information which board needs to be. And in most case, it is ESP32 S3 because that is their strongest chip. Next problem is board definitions and libraries. If if my example is old, if you if you see that the video is three years old, try to find version of library that was used back then. For example, I got many comments about TTGO T display board, and most of problems are related to that there is new <laughs> version of library. So don't be afraid if to downgrade to down downgrade some board or library just to see is that example for you. Then then you can make some investigation and make some changes and to make it work with latest version. Serial monitor don't work. Serial monitor don't work because on default USB CDC on boot is disabled, so you need to put this to enable. So for serial port, this settings needs to be enabled. And sometimes you can't upload anything to your board 
you think board is broken or is that no s just sometimes you need to reset it sometimes board is not appear you can see its port and you will need to enter a board in upload mode manually and here you can with lily go you need to press and hold boot button while boot is pressed you need press reset release reset release boot and upload sketch and after that you need to uh, restart your board or plug it out and plug it back in and yes some specific boards have power on power on pin so uh, for example t display s3 will not work when powered with battery if you don't turn on power on pin pin mode power on pin is 15 it need to be output and digital write needs to be set to one sometimes some boards have pin that control screen that control other peripherals or something you will need to investigate and uh, what i always recommend first don't don't check my example straight away first make sure your board is installed and first go to these examples because sometimes i'm using different uh, libraries uh, first try these basic examples hello world or some basic examples touch examples when you are sure that everything is working then you can try my thank you i hope this was a helpful video and i hope you learned something useful today as i said my content is always free but i will happily accept coffee or a new patreon supporter have a nice day bye